The sweet story of Australian sugar starts in the sugarcane fields that dot our eastern coastline. The sugar industry employs more than 20,000 people and generates about $4 billion for the Australian economy each year. Wilmar Sugar Australia is the nation's largest manufacturer of raw sugar, accounting for about 50% of production. We own and operate eight sugar mills located between Ingham and Serena in Queensland. The Queensland crushing season starts in June and runs for about five months. During this time, 15 million tonnes of sugarcane is harvested across Wilmar's four milling regions and processed into more than 2 million tonnes of raw sugar. The sugar milling process begins when the cane is harvested. It's cut into pieces called billets and dropped into a cane haulage vehicle being driven alongside the harvester. The harvested cane is delivered to a cane railway siding where it's collected by a locomotive and transported to one of our sugar mills for processing. Our cane trains operate around the clock throughout the crushing season. At the mill, each bin of cane is weighed and the farm details recorded. The tippler empties the cane onto a large conveyor belt. It's then put through a machine aptly known as the shredder that tears the cane billets apart. The shredded cane then goes through a series of mills where it's crushed to separate the sugar juice from the fibre. It's this process that gives the crushing season its name. Juice from each farmer's cane is sampled separately and analysed in our on-site laboratory to determine its sugar content, known as CCS. The leftover cane fibre is called bagasse. It fuels the boilers which generate steam and electricity for factory operations. The extracted sugar juice is heated, then pumped into a large vessel called a clarifier. Here, dirt and other impurities settle out and are removed. The clear juice is sent to the evaporators, where it is boiled under vacuum until it thickens to a consistency like golden syrup. From here, the liquor is pumped to the pan stage, where it's further concentrated by being boiled under vacuum. This is also where the syrup is seeded with small sugar crystals, a process called crystallisation. When the crystals grow to about one millimetre in size, the thick syrup and sugar mixture, called massaquite, is discharged. It's sent to the centrifugals where it's spun at very high speed to separate the molasses from the sugar crystals. The raw sugar then passes through a dryer where it's tumble dried before going into short-term storage on site. Then it's transported to the nearest shipping port by train or truck. At the port, mountains of raw sugar are stored in specialized sheds before being shipped to markets around the world.